If you feel fear, feel it, but move on. Do not let that become a reason for you not to step up. A record number of Black women are running for U.S. Congress in November 2020. Among them is Joyce Elliott, an Arkansas state senator. If elected, she will be the first Black lawmaker in Congress from Arkansas ever. So many of us own and have to deal with all of the things that happened in our families. And I think Black women and other women as well internalize so many of the things that are unjust. As a child, Elliot was only the second Black student to attend her mostly white public high school. The first was her older sister. For her, running for office is a way to be heard. And women, I think, just have a whole different way of looking at the world that is more inclusive many times because we are multitaskers. And I think we see perspectives differently from men. But as much as anything, we've been the voices that have been left out. And I think people recognize that. Black women are nearly 8% of the U.S. population, but they make up 4.3% of all members of Congress, according to a report by the Center of Women and Politics and Higher Heights for America. African-American women are also underrepresented in other elected offices across the country. That has started to change in the past 10 years. The number of Black women running for Congress and winning has increased at a steady clip since 2011. Elliot is one of at least 122 Black or multiracial Black women who filed to run for congressional seats in this year's election. As the primary season draws to a close, nearly 60 Black women are still in the running, according to Collective PAC. The women who have had the chance to serve, uh, I think most of them have become a force that where they have made uh, contributions, where people see this is something that should not be an anomaly. And it's just really been a way, I think, of leaving out too much talent. I know in my case, um, you know, I was recruited to run. So I think that really speaks to other people who see the value in having Black women, you know, in politics. Arkansas's second congressional district, which Elliott hopes to represent, has voted for a Republican president in every 21st century election. But history isn't stopping her. Elliott hopes that her candidacy, successful or not, will help inspire the next generation of political leaders. That which you don't know, make sure you learn it. Other people my age, and somebody did it for me, we've laid the groundwork for you to run. And uh, make sure if you want the world to be better, don't let anything convince you that you don't have a place in America.